Hello and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. My name is Negative Root. Let's get cracking and we're going to do a build from the wiki today. Uh, we're going to talk about, or we're going to actually gonna set up a build that will only use steam engines as a backup. Now you'll notice that all my boilers are flashing red and that would normally be a cause for panic. But not for me. I'm, I'm good. Now when you get into the game far enough, you end up with a situation where you've got enough solar panels and enough accumulators that you don't really need steam engines anymore. But the way accumulators work is they are the lowest priority. So you end up with a situation where even though you have enough accumulators to easily run yourself, like run your entire factory through the night, it won't because they're lower priority than steam engines. So what I've done is I've taken this build from the wiki, I <clears throat> was thinking of Josh Little actually from the forum uh, when I did this build because he's got a fang for solar panels and this is going to turn off my steam engines while ever I have the power in my accumulators to run my factory. Now it works on a simple premise that you have one inserter working all the time and one inserter working only when you have the power to power it. Now the way we do this is we use an accumulator. Here it is here. Now this is the main network. You tell that by clicking on it and here's all your factory. You know I've got 66 iron furnaces, 120 assemblers, um, 1.3 thousand laser turrets. So that's my na main network and it's charging this accumulator. Now this substation is on a completely independent network of its own there's nothing else okay and it's being run entirely by this little accumulator so when I click on it you'll see that it's got the one inserter namely this one there's the only thing that sits within that area now this inserter is driven by the power of this accumulator and it puts wood back in this chest now I'll come to that part shortly the reason this works is this accumulator is the last thing to be charged Okay, coming out of the main network, whenever there's not enough power, it won't charge this, which won't run this network, which won't move this inserter, which will stop putting wood in this chest. Now you'll notice that it's flicking between one and two. Okay, so there's always wood in that chest. Now, the only time there won't be wood in that chest is when we don't have the power in our accumulators. So that will stop that working, and this will become a zero. Remember that. Now I've hooked up this red wire network to all my smart inserters. Now this is quite resource intensive. Uh, it is what it is. You, there's no way around it. But when you get in the late game, you know, building a hundred smart inserters isn't really a problem. Look, I've got 50 just sitting in my inventory, along with another 50. So these are all empty, okay? We're heading into night time now, and so let's look and see what happens. Now, as night falls, the power output of your solar panels will gradually decrease. Now, because I have so many, the solar panels will actually work and run the factory a long way into the night. And this actually becomes better and better the longer, oh, sorry, the more solar panels you put down. Uh, you'll be able to do more. Now you'll notice that it's flicked over. The accumulators are now running and no steam engines. Okay, so as the solar panels go down, the accumulators automatically take over and produce exactly what we consume. Our accumulator capacity is 4.4 gigajoules and we'll just see what happens. So this, it'll go up to the full amount which is about 24 megawatts and there the solar panels are gone. Now we're running wholly and solely on accumulators right now. The entire factory. No pollution being created from our steam engines. Now we'll just have to wait a moment for the daylight to come back which will be very very shortly. Now this is a good idea when you've got limited resources uh, say you've got limited solid fuel or limited coal, it'd be a very good idea to switch over to a, a fully solar idea. 
that way you, you're not burning things through the night when you don't have to if you've got the, the accumulator capacity we see that the solar panels will come back on now and the accumulators will drop because they're the lowest priority so every megawatt we get out of these it'll take a megawatt less from this uh, the other good spot for this would be actually be a death world because it would reduce pollution and then reduce the amount of biters now what will happen is we need to recharge 1.4 gigajoules of energy so it's a good stress test for your solar panel network because you'll notice before that I was drawing 23 megawatts so this will be interesting to see how high this goes I'm guessing at doing some rough calculations in my head it'll be like 60 or 70 megawatts of total power I can get out of the solar panels but uh, anyway it'll keep climbing as the day goes on and the sun gets stronger or the starlight because we're on an alien world of course so 53 megawatts 54 see that our our accumulators are drawing 36 7 38 megawatts of power it's absolutely insane and this these solar panels are just keeping on going you can see that we're nearly to the top 70 megawatts wow 4.5 4.6 boom there we go it clicks over and these just stop drawing power they'll fall off and there we go so we made it through a night we recharged the accumulators and that is how that works you use a simple little sensor you only need one okay and then you can run everything off that one little sensor that will detect if you don't have enough power in the accumulators and you can completely switch over to a solar panel and accumulator setup with a steam powered backup thank you for joining me and i'll see you in the next episode